I'm Jerome Wright here um, and once again you're joining me on my Jerome Wright on um, YouTube channel okay um, as you know for those that have been following me that um, through my ongoing paranormal experience and encounter I am able to see multi-dimensional images and, um, and I'm drawn to paranormal scenarios where there is multi-dimensional images um, that are created through artists who make movies, um, are Renaissance artists who actually make paintings. Um, in other words, from, from a previous state um, of our ancestors who actually encrypted and encoded glyphs, um, cave artworks. Um, this is something that has evolutionized through to current and in modern. And um, this is what I'm going to demonstrate here in this um, in this artwork here with this um, this title Machete Kills, and um, this um, this um, creation this movie is by Robert Rodriguez, um, a Robert Rodriguez. Um, before I go into detail, um, it's my position that these artists they capture they capture artwork, and and and, and through their higher knowledge. And um, with dealing with our ancients and their knowledge of how we evolved from the, from the creature of that of our ape ancestor through to our current likenesses, through to our current likenesses, if you can see that there, um, from the ape to different to our Asian to our African Americans um, to our Africans and to our Caucasians. It's showing us pretty much how these artists, this is what this is all about. A lot of us are stuck on these secret societies and, and um, <clears throat> Illuminati's and all of that. People, our ancestors, nothing mattered more to our ancestors than who they genetically were and their genetic identities. Um, and this is what this is all about. And these artists captured today. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Rob, Robert Rodriguez before I start breaking down the encryptions and what is actually being shown here, okay? And I hope that you're going to be able to see this because basically what I'm doing now is I'm, I have, um, I actually I have two laptops here. I have one projecting this image here on my um, my um, my 47 inch um, TV screen here, and then um, which I have it hooked up um, um, through a, a linking cable. Then I have my other laptop facing that image, and um, I guess this is a way of me to actually cut down on my copying costs, which is actually possibly into the thousands of dollars now. So um, the more money I guess I'm spending, uh, the more wiser I'm becoming. Um, but I'm going to start showing you um, what's going on. Let me let me let me let me tell you a little bit about Robert Rodriguez. So for those of you that want to Google this image and other images and other artworks by um, Robert Rodriguez. Um, <clears throat> you pretty much can um, as far as in so much as far as his movies now I have this movie and I have to get around to to um, to watching it because it's my position that with what I'm showing you here and what I'm going to describe because it shows it details how genes came from an ancient stage to a current stage and the information that's came, contained therein again it shows us how we evolved from our ape and African ancestor through our Asian ancestors and on to becoming that of our Caucasian counterparts and that's what this is all about it's a it's a recycling nation of genetics it's a cauldron cult like process that shows us how mankind was created and how there is a maintenance program in, in cycling and that cycles these genes back into one into each other which I'm stating that occurs every 400 plus years and where artists used to capture it in their artworks and and monumental times, and um, like uh, let's just say um, and 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 where there's flight to Egypt, all of these artists, if you notice, and if you Google flight to Egypt, artists, um, Renaissance artworks, flight to Egypt, you'll notice that I mean, hundreds of artists captures this moment of flight to Egypt. It's my position that that time is a, mon a monumentous time where they're talking about there was a contamination of the genes of that of our Egyptian um, people. 
Um, and then when you go into bibl into the biblical sense, when they um, where these art um, artists goes into wherever you go, where they capture a lot of artists are capturing these times, and they're actually capturing the artwork, and 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 in doing so, they're giving you their idea of what is happening during that time. Let's say in for the biblical sense, the return of the prodig prodigal's child. Okay, you have a lot of artists weighing in their artwork on what their idea was of what is being described with this in the, in the Bible. And for the most part, all of these artists are stating the same exact thing. Um, there's others as well, too. The, the, um, the baptism of Christ. A lot of people weighed in, a lot of artists weighed in on that and captured that. Um, the birth of Christ. You know, these monumentous times where you have a lot of artists that came and got involved in creating their own painting and idea behind it all, People, I can show you that there is encryptions in these um, in these art artworks, and what is happening there is that they are discussing and and detailing how mankind was genetically altered from that point that that they're signifying it actually occurred in. Okay, but um, anyway, Robert Rodriguez, Robert Rodriguez is an American film director, screenwriter, producer. Um, um, cinemagrapher, uh, cinema, uh, cinnamon, cin cinema, 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 um, edit and musician, editor and musician. Um, he shoots and produces many of his films in his native Texas and Mexico. Okay. Now, other than that, Robert Rodriguez would seem to be a very ordinary fellow. But I know that Robert Rodriguez is not ordinary because Robert Rodriguez has created a very interesting film that I am um, that I'm attracted to in a paranormal sense. Okay, so therefore I know that Roger, Robert Rodriguez is far beyond being that of a normal um, 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 film director and producer and um, and uh, and, and playwright person. I, I know that he's he's linked to a higher sense of being. So. Now, I have this movie. I have to actually watch the movie. But I'm going to tell you that without even watching the movie yet, I can tell you that the movie from start to beginning will be detailing how mankind genetically arrived at a place to where they were at currently and how these genes are being furthered in the manipulation process. So what Robert Rodriguez is doing is giving you his knowledge, detailing in, 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 a, in a cinema type way on a large screen, on a big screen, how these genes are being furthered and manipulated. And people, when I tell you that, it's not just Robert Rodriguez. I'm seeing this stuff in the growing numbers in in um in um in um in rap art. I mean, in rap videos. I'm seeing it in rock videos. I'm seeing it um in items that I I see in stores. I'm seeing it a lot with Disney. It's like everybody is rushing to put their stake, their claim, in bringing this stuff. To your bedroom, where it's actually put in a claim, not on your imagination, but on your soul as well. You ever heard of that thing? If you invite evil in, or you invite the vampire in, then he has free reign to your soul or to your being. These artists are creating fashionable ways, not just in clothing and clothing designs, to get into your being and to your person. It puts a claim on your soul. This pretty much is what this is. And besides that, it's actually not only are they attacking you physically, but they're attacking to attacking you genetically. They're altering your state of mind. And I mean, it goes on and on and on. And I could tell you a lot more, but I'm dancing around trying to let you in on pretty much everything that is going on. But just pretty much just awaken you to what is happening here. All right. But anyway. Let me tell you about who Rob, who um, Robert Rodriguez is. He is far from a normal person. Okay, now this machete kills that he created. Now, well, first of all, let me tell you what 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 he did. This machete kills. I'm attracted to this multidimensionally. So therefore, I know that there's multidimensional images that I can see in here. So now all I have to do is put my finger on the artist after I identified some of the things that are in here. So I want to know the affiliation of this artist. So auto automatically, I know that it would be something dealing with um, being, him being Catholic. I know that there would be a tie either to a, Cath uh, a, a, a um, Catholic origin religion, or I know that he will be attached to other artists that actually I have fingered and being 
involved in encrypting their artworks and their movies with these encryptions that I'm telling you on reference how mankind was genetically contaminated, um, how mankind hit the or the true origins of man, and how there there is a continued maintenance progress um, program in progress on how they actually manipulate these genes. All right now here. When doing that, basically, all I, I'm all over the place, people, because I'm unscripted. Okay, my, and my mind, as I'm talking, other things are coming into my mind. So I'm, if I seem confused, I am. You know what I mean? Because as I'm releasing things, things are coming in. But anyway, this man is linked to a higher knowledge. This this image is saturated with what I'm detailing, what I what I'm suggesting about him. Okay. This man is, has a net worth of thirty-eight something million dollars. All right, I would not be having him up here with this with his artwork if what I was stating, if I was wrong. I would not do it. I am one hundred percent right in what I'm stating. So therefore, I'm going to go forward with this. All of this stuff here that he has detailed here, I know, and the underlying encryptions is linked to ancient rooted royalty and ancient rooted religion. So therefore, all I have to do is just go into the biography of this Rodriguez character, and um, this Robert Rodriguez character, and then lo loan and behold, this will come up. He attended. He he attended Saint Anthony Catholic High School. It is a private Roman Catholic high school located in Monte Vista Historic District in Middletown, San Antonio, Texas, United States. It is located in the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of the San Antonio. All right. There's my link. There's a spot on there for me. Okay. All right. Um, St. Anthony Catholic High School focuses on a integrated curriculum of academics, athletics, Christian services, community activities, and spirituality with the goal of preparing graduates for a life of Christian service. All right. Now, it's my position. It's my position that Robert Rodriguez, there's something far more darker and deeper than Robert Rodriguez attending that private Catholic school, that Roman Catholic school, and then come out to be this famous artist, this famous artist in, in, in movie making, and then a, 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 obtain a net worth of $38 million. It's my position that his success is built on the backbone of his cult like knowledge. And what he's detailing and the, the fame and his movies, the success in his movies is based on what he's detailing here. Now, you wouldn't expect for anyone to have went to a Catholic school to be drawing images like this. Look at this image in itself or look at or, or allow this to be on his work or on his movie, on his movie. Look at this. Look at how bizarre this is you have now the movie is called machete kills why would you have this this character here demonic looking character seemingly right this guy here with his chest out emulating sexuality and then these machetes coming across Look at this, people. Look at this. I see multi-dimensional images, not just in the top half of this machete, but also in the bottom half of this machete. Let me show you some of the things that I actually see. Right here, I see a reptilian, a reptilian ape's face right there. And then on top of that, there's another ape's face right there multi-dimensional ape face in the handle of the machete blade. Over on this side, I see another reptilian-like face wearing a crown right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can bring that in closer. Wearing a crown 
Um, let me bring this in closer because I don't want to. Let me zoom in and see if I can get this without distorting it. And I know that I'm going to be. All right, I don't know if you can see it at this point. I'm just going to have to. I'm just going to have to hope that you want to see it. But just up top of the end on this side. Well, look on this side here. You can see the nostrils of an ape, the mouth, the forehead, right here. At the E, go straight across from the E, and right there. There's an ape face, and then there's other multi-dimensional images as well too. But if you come to this side here, there's a reptilian face right here. And let me see if I can come to that side because I want to show you the eyes. Um, where we at here? And I'm hoping that you can. If you come right here at the top of the M, right there, and come across the top of the M, you'll see a broken king's crown right there. There's a crown right here. This little spot right here creates, it's a distorted color right here. It creates the image of a crown. And on that, the crown is on the head of a being. And you'll see the left eye is right here to the closer to the M. There's the left eye. And then the right eye is over here closer to where this woman's heel, this woman here, her heel is going into this side. Then there's the nose and then there's the mouth. So you have a complete head. Now check this out, people. Then if you come down where the chin from this being is here, the chin creates the forehead of another ape. This would be the left eye here, the right eye there, the nostril, and the mouth. Okay, and then going down. Almost like a total pole of creatures that are shown underneath this crown right here. Just right here in this side alone. On this side, it's a little bit more difficult, but there is a monkey face. Now, how you can see it is go from side to side. If you pull this up on your screen, I have it at larger than life, actually, be totally honest with you. Go to other side, either side. Don't try to look at it directly on. Come, if you come to the left side of your screen, if you're looking at this side, like right now, I'm over off to my left side of the screen, which would probably be the right side there. But I can see across. If you just look at it from a side, I'm looking dead at this ape's face right here. Right there. Now, if I went to the other side, I would be able to see that, but you'll see faces like in a totem pole way on top of each other. And, and it's amazing that they're like that in the totem pole because we're talking about Mexico and, um, and Texas and those places like that there where, I mean, where Indians were. And then you're talking about how there were totem poles. So here you have the handles of a machete. Of a machete on each side showing you genes genetics heads the, the, the genetics of ancient ancestors that you know nothing about but this guy Robert Rodriguez has depicted in the handles of these swords now through my ongoing paranormal experience and encounter I know that where there are machetes where there are arrows where there are knives being implicated it means splicing. Splicing of what? Splicing of ancient genes that were created. So in this case, we have these machetes crossed over each other. Showing you that this... Let me back this off because I might be going... I'm going to back this off, people. Hold on. Let me back this off so you can see what I'm doing here. These machetes are showing you two sides of ancient genetics being crossed over being crossed over what showing you images of these characters that these genes are being crossed over on showing you genes being created if you have a a a, a um a native almost looking texan or mexican Okay, having that look, that rough end look, Im you know, implicating that, and then showing you the new emergence of these genes being carried out now. Now, what is being created through these genes? Well, 
This man is not going to have his penis out, his dick out. So what do they do? They put this emblem here, this here, in indicating his penis, his jeans, his big gun coming out. And that's not hard to believe because you see her with the gun here. And you see all of these weapons, the, the machetes and all that. So it's not hard to believe that his penis is implicating from his penis now is coming this gene right here. That reptilian looking guy with the green face. You see that? You see his arms out and he's coming down the aisles with these columns on the side here. Look at, look at this people. So they're telling us now from this chemistry, this cauldron-like chemistry, ancient genes resurrected. There's a gateway, a stargate, a stargate. Look at this, a stargate coming from this guy's penis now. Now, this is implicating semen. This here, where it says machete kills, is representing blood. It's my position that her dress coming down is stating that from her blood these contaminations and through his semen these contaminations these new genes are now being spread out to contaminate so how can I suggest that well besides this being right here at his his growing area or down in that area how can I say that this is her what, what she's doing well this black skirt that she's she's shown wearing if you look in her buttocks, there's an ancient rooted face of that of a Medusa looking woman right there. Let me, let me take this out because there's two faces. That face right here, there's the chin, there's the mouth, and there's the eye right there. And they're closest to her ass right here. And then inside, there's a face of a man. There's his chin, there's his mouth, there's his cheekbone, there's his eye, and here's his head right there. Now I'm going to bring that in closer so I can actually show you exactly what is there. In fact, I'm going to bring up another image, two images, and I'm hoping that you'll be able to see it. Now, look at the ass of this woman. In fact, I have to do it in a way to where I can, it's going to be difficult for me to do this like this. Because, in fact, let me get a, um, I'll have a clipboard. <clears throat> I have a clipboard. Uh, we, are we there? Are we there yet? Okay. Okay. I'm going to do this from the back. And people, I hope that you'll be able, in fact, I might have to. Oh, gosh. This is going to be difficult. Let me try doing it from the side and see if I can get her ass up in your face. Look on her ass cheek and I'm going to try to do it. Look on her ass cheek. I'm going to try to do this and I won't know. There's the head of the man. There's his forehead. There's his eye. There's his nose, there's his mouth, and there's his chin. Okay? Oh, shoot. I lowered it. All right, I'm going to try it again. There's the head of the man. There's his eye. There's his nose area. There's his mouth, and there's his chin right there. The woman is in front of him right here. She's a reptilian woman. There's her forehead. There's her eye. There's her nose, and there her chin. She appears to be green. Right here, the woman is there, and the man is there to the closest to her larger part of her leg, and the woman is back here, off to the ass, off to her ass in the back, her, her ass cheeks. All right, now I'm gonna do it on the big screen since I screwed that up. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do the woman's first. The woman is here. Here's her cheek, her chin, her mouth. Her nose, her eye, her forehead, and she has a garb on her head that's created into this. It's like she's emerging from the genetics of there. The male figure is right here. Here's his head robe piece wrapped around his head, his headwear, his eye, his cheekbone, his nose, his mouth, and there's his chin right there. 
king and queen reptilians in her ass right there so when you google that image you look at it play with that image till you see it okay now what else is there oh stating from her body the blood there's a new bloodline created here he's suggesting the semen what are they discussing ancient rooted bloodlines if you look here there's a crown again there's a crown and I'm gonna tell you how the crown is the crown has the, the king's um, points on it right there and the Queen's point actually it has the Queen's points in the front right there one two three points in the front and then here it's like a band coming around the head where it comes over the eyes the band comes down in a point it's a specific style crown that can be identified it's a specific style crown that can be identified the crown is one point two point three points and then it comes down on a band that comes down across towards the eyes of a specific crown it's a specific crown that's being identified right there okay that's an indicator so what is that doing in the sword and then with all of these other beings that are in here multi-dimensional beings ancient ancestors that you know nothing about creatures all right so on both sides and they're showing a cross reference so I want you also where we at here I'm gonna call your attention to look because this guy now has the new genes. I don't think that you would be able to see it. But in here, on this side, there's a lion. On this side, there's a woman here between his hand here. Between his fingertips. If you look at it, you will see it. Okay? Just try to change, your, train your eyes to go in, into seeing it. Where is it. What is this suggesting about the lion? The lion comes from over here off the tip of the blade okay showing you these genes yes there was lines that that was caused for our chain people how do you think that we got blondes and brunettes and um and um and um and black haired women and these guys here what do you how do you think people that they got their likenesses from these creatures how do you think that they got the look or enjoy the look that they do now. You know why? Because they were cross-referenced with these creatures that I'm discussing. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. This is where our Caucasian counterparts with their green eyes, their gray eyes, their reptile eyes. This is where all of this is coming from. From our blackest of ape ancestor From our blackest of ape ancestor, these changes came not just for us, but for the apes as well. So each culture of our Caucasian counterparts, the likenesses, can be equated to the creatures that they were cross-referenced with to get these different likenesses. Now I like this image here because this image shows us there's a is that African man there in that corner? Where is he at? Is he there? Why am I not? Oh, okay. I got him down too low. Look at this, people. There's an African man there. There's an Asian woman over here in this corner here. And then there's a Caucasian woman. And these monkeys, these varying monkeys here, how they look similar to the line of which the being that they are on with the, the mankind like that they're on with ape and mankind has been affected by that process now you got to know that genetically we all looked like this at one point because from our black it's, it's, it's a proven scientific fact that all life forms evolved off the continent of Africa so now you must take your blackest of blackest African 
you must take your APS of, 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 of ape looking creature and apply that to us and then ask yourself how can we get to likenesses like this and like was depicted here what well, people people like Roger Robert Rodriguez shows us and his fancy movie cover here for his um for his um DVD I would imagine that it is how it actually was done and he's actually showing you another sequence which is actually being conducted right now here in the year 2013 he's telling us and describing what is being done and what is his contribution to it all. If you look in here, this is another encryption style right here. Look at her clothing. You see a cross between an ape creature and a dinosaur right there. If you turn it sideways, you'll see an eye, an eye, and you'll see other morphine creatures. I encourage you people to turn it, and you will see different eyes. I see a creature with its mouth open, with a, with a dick like going up in its mouth right here, up in here, on this side. I mean, people, you must, I mean, in fact, I'm going to bring that in closer for you to show you. Because I have some of it highlighted. Looks like a freaking cartoon. Um, damn, I don't think I can get it. Doing this, from, this is the first time I'm doing this from backwards, people. I'm going to have to go to the screen. But notice this thing here looking like a shaft right there. Like a, like a dick. Right there. And then you see this thing with his mouth open, with his teeth. With the dick going in its mouth, you see this, people. Look at it. Look at it in here. Look at the creatures. Then I'm going to take you over to this side. Now this is the machete going off on this side here. Look at the machete going off on this side. If you pull back up off of this screen, now the same creature-looking creature over here looks ghostly, like all white. If you come over here, this woman with the patch on her eye. As y'all guys want to call it the Illuminati and all of that, the Illuminati patch and all this, that, and the third. Okay, well, means one eye is in this world and one eye is in the other dimension. One eye is in the, in the real time dimension and the other and is in the not so real dimension, but it is real. Look at these beings right here. There's multi dimensional faces here. I can give you probably possibly up to four of them. There's the chin of a man right here that creates the overall image. Then there's a half a face there. Let me see if I can cover it up. That's what I want to do. Um, let me give something to cover this up. Oh gosh. Alright. Can I cover that up? Oh shoot. Uh, let's try this. Right there. I'm gonna cover this face up like this. And I hope you guys can see this because this is going to suck if you don't. Here's a chin, there's a mouth, there's a nose, and there's an eye. Now mind you, this is in her clothing. There's a chin, there's a nose, there's a half of a face there. You release it. You release it, and that half of a face makes a whole face right there. And this whole white in there, it creates a whole face. So now your eyes is playing tricks on you because there's one, there's two faces emerging from one. And then what are that? There, it's in a larger face. There's the larger face right here. So if depending on the resolution and the way that you look at it, you can see multi-dimensional faces in the shoulder, in the body of this woman right here. And then there's smaller faces right there. And then the faces just continue to, 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 to merge out, representing genetics and genetic bridging. And don't forget on this side is the lion. And then on this side is the ape. And if you look closely in here, you will see, look in this knife right here and look on that side the machete you'll see multi-dimensional faces between that of prehistoric creatures and other creatures ancient genetics 
these machetes are representing bridged over these beans and now they're ending out here with these two players this cyclination this wheel of life or wheel of genetics and the genes are ending out with these two right here in blood and in semen blood semen I'm gonna end that there I don't think that there's nothing else that I can describe with you about this besides this character right there's he has another image and here's another one. This is El Mor Morachi, or Morachi, or Morachi. El Morachi. I was running out of ink. This is El Morachi. Again, people, what is there to, to, to not realize about this? this and then I was running out of ink. This is a guy walking down the road in Mexico on a yellow line. He's walking a yellow line. He has a, a machine gun in his hand, a, a musical instrument in his hand. And coming across the the path, this is a turtle right here. I'm actually ran out of ink here, and this is the Robert um, Rodriguez image again. And he has a machine gun pointed down towards that direction, towards um, the turtle, re representing the reptilian. Again, another bizarre, another bizarre cult-like message. Representing our ancient reptilian ancestor. But people, I want you to look the telltale signs of everything that I'm stating about this cat, Roger, Robert Rodriguez. It's right here in the butt. Even if you don't want to buy nothing about... Look at, look, look at these reptiles here, first of all. The dinosaur-looking creatures. Look at this with this, with this penis-like... And it's going into the mouth of this open mouth creature here. Okay. Even if you don't want to buy none of that, you will not deny me that there's the face of a, of a male king here and a female queen here in the butt right there. You'll probably notice the male right off the bat. The female is more harder to realize, but do your resolution thing, people, and you'll see it. She's, she's right there in front of the male. The female is right here on the butt, but it's look like ancient Egyptian queens and kings. So what the hell is that doing there and based on everything that I just said? Now this is a movie Machete Kills. So what in the hell is that, even that encryption style doing there, that message there in the first place? Now, you take that, then look at everything that this movie has to offer. The message and from beginning to the ending if you read this movie and listen I mean watch this movie for what the hell it is which is describing ancient genetics you will be able to understand for those you do you that don't like the movie or seen the movie and know what I'm talking about well go watch the rewatch the movie again and I guarantee you from start to finish if you look at it as being genetics ancient genetics um, being activated being manipulated and being carried in a cross-contamination process, I bet you you'll be able to understand the movie then and the players that are in the movie if you look at it in a sense of the genetic warfare going on within your body. Then you can understand it's not just this movie, but many movies out there that don't make no damn sense. If you look at them as genetic warfare, Splicing, genetic splicing of old genes, bringing in old genes to contaminate new genes at a point of where they are now, contaminating them in a continuation process going there on. And that's what most of our movies are about today. Go here. In this, right here by the M, and there's a King, oh well, Queen's crown. And you'll see a reptilian being. You'll see the eye. Right there closest to it, you'll see the left eye. Then you'll see the right eye. You'll see the nose. And you'll see the mouth. And then underneath that, you'll see an ape. And you'll see another creature. And you'll see them going straight down. Because you know what? It's a totem pole of our ancestors. Again, which these machetes actually represent. And when you get really, really good, you can go up here and separate the faces. Of the creatures that calls for the furtherance of that process. Now, what is it stating? This is no difference if you had a cross up here. And this is what religion is all about. 
because the cross, as I told you, represents the cross referencing of genes. So these machetes crossed over like that means nothing more than a symbolic message of our cross symbol, cross referencing of mankind's genes. It describes everything in detail of what is happening. Now, I'm going to watch the movie after the fact, I would imagine, because I didn't watch the movie, but I can pretty much tell you what the movie is going to be about based on what I'm seeing here. I'll be able to understand the movie in a way that most people do not even understand because of what I've seen here. I would watch this movie just because of what I'm seeing here. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. And I'm going to let this go. And Robert Rodriguez, if you're seeing this, you're upset. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that it doesn't make a damn because once people go here and see this reptilian woman's face, this guy's face, this queen's crown on a reptile right here, on a, rep on a, on a reptilian face right here, then you're guilty as charged. And then uh, the, the three-pronged sword telling you that she's now donning these, these new controlled genes? How in the world can I do that, Robert? How do I know what that means? Now she's carrying the genes, the destructive genes to alter man's kind being. How do I know all of this? I didn't go to the school you went to, Robert. You know how I'm knowing this? is because I'm having a true, genuine, paranormal experience and encounter where people like yourself that think that you can continue to enjoy this higher knowledge, this higher level of understanding, has enabled me to bring it to everyone and give it to them. Your success is built off of your knowledge of everybody else not knowing. This is the only reason why you're successful. Because you're catering to the imaginative thoughts of people. You're playing with telling someone you know who they are. Ha ha. You don't. So therefore, I can bottle up these, these images and I can send them to you. Play with them all in your face. And you're going to like them because instinctively you're drawn to them. So you're going to be drawn to my movie. So therefore, I'm going to become a millionaire off your stupidity of not knowing. Of you being naive. It's people like you, Robert Rodriguez, it's people like you that I enjoy making these videos against because you know why? Because it helps people understand reality for what it truly is. So keep making movies like this so I can bring them there. Let me see if I can bring in that reptilian face well, as I'm closing out this video to show them how people like you, um, where's that machete knife at? I'm going to see if I can bring that in. Uh, let me back off. Let me see if I can get that. And see, when I close this video out. Alright, where are we at here? I'm going to point at it again, people. There's a queen's crown right there. Let me see if I can. I'm going to see if I can bring this in. I'm gonna try. Okay, I'm in there now, people. I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to see this. Right here, people. There's one point on the crown, there's a second point, there's a next point. The crown is here. And I might have the face pulled in. There's the left eye, there's the right eye, there's the nose, there's the mouth. It's a reptilian creature wearing a crown. And then where the reptilian chin is, it creates the eye area, socket area, of this ape creature, which is here. There's the mouth. There's the nose. So you have these two creatures. You have the ape. And the, look, you have the, 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 the king. You, and we remember those images of the, of, the, of, the, of the ape wearing the king's crown, being the king of the jungle. Remember that? The king of all beasts, the ape. Okay, um, and then later the lion being the king of all beasts. We know that's that symbolization, people. Well, it's right here because you have a reptilian queen and an ape 
wearing the crown together. And then there's another being down here, which I dub as the mother of creation, where her eyes is cutting into the chin area of the next creature. So each being that is here on his totem pole, the chin of the next creature is creating the eye portion of the next one that is down on a lower level. Amazing, isn't it? So you have three morphine beings here, all shown donning the same crown. Then if you go to this side, you got the um, are you with me there? Can I let me see if I'm let me, let me go to this side? Oh gosh. On this side though, it gets become I like to look at it from the other side. Alright, I might have to back it off. Let me see. Okay. On this side, again, it's not a far stretch of the imagination to start seeing these ape faces that are in here because these represent the founding genetics of man's kind's being now being recrossed over cross-referenced over through a cyclonation process which calls for the creation of new genes carriers almost like the creation of aids almost similar to that because what's left in the wake of this you see this you see this here on either end Right here on either end, this death and destruction. Well, people, that's what I've been trying to tell you all along. Let me um, back out of that some. Um, hold on, let me back out of that some. Well, people, this is what I'm trying to tell you all along. What's happening is, as new genes are being created in this cauldron-like process, in the wake is death and destruction. So meaning genes that were crossed over are purposely being destroyed, being poisoned. So those that have this, this is the reason why this knowledge is being hid from you. Because if it was good for you or good for the benefit of all mankind, then I guess you would know it, wouldn't you? This is why only a select few have this knowledge. And this is why you can see and understand now why you have people like ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty and people even like um, George Washington create these memorials where there are cup cupolas where they are descending into heaven and into the clouds and all of this if they're depicting themselves as divine divine beings you know why the return of Jesus and all that? because they have this ancient rooted knowledge and they know that through a genetic process, a contamination process, they can actually reemerge genetically 400 plus years later. So this information is a gold mine. To the, if you know what you are getting into, I was just telling a friend the other day, how many minutes I got on this? Because I'm dragging on. I was just telling a friend the other day, I'm going on almost an hour. Huh. I thought it was going to be short. I was just telling a friend the other day that I see faces in here now. I was just telling a friend the other day that um, when they give you this um, uh, communion, when they give you the body of Jesus and, and, the, blood, and the blood of Jesus, I mean... The body of Jesus, I mean, the blood of Jesus, they, they may outright boldly with you. But people, all of the ancient stuff is always about the penile gland and blood. These rituals are about blood and genetics. So if they're giving you the body of Jesus, what do you think that they're giving you? Not the body, not his, his body, the only body of him is white, is his semen, his sperm, his cum. So if you're getting this, whose cum, whose sperm is being put in your mouth during communion? Well, I can tell you. Through the Roman Catholic community, they're creating what you're putting in your mouth. So nine times out of ten, you're getting actual blood and you're getting actual cum to be put in your mouth during communion.
So, it kills me because when you're getting that that ta that 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 piece of so-called bread, the body of Jesus. Notice how they make sure that they put their eyes almost in your mouth when they're looking at you. When they when they're putting that that piece of bread, they make sure that it goes in your mouth, and they give you something quick behind it to wash it down. You know why? You might get a recognizable taste of semen, or afraid that you would put it in your mouth on something. And then turn around and hear it and take it back to a science lab and they're busted. And they're busted. Oh, I have to plug in. Oh, gosh. I have to plug in before this shuts down. I'm going to end this video before it shuts down on me. I'm going to plug this in right now before it shuts down. Where's my plug with? All right, people. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. And I'm rambling on. Where's my? Oh, okay, there's my, there's my plug. All right. And you're watching my um, Jerome Wright channel. I'm gonna end this video. I thought that it was gonna turn out better than that, but I'm gonna show you this creature here before I go on because there's actually several creatures. And I'm gonna bring in this creature. I don't know if you can see it. In here, I'm seeing all kinds. What in the world is that I'm seeing? Alright. Up in here. Up in here. Look at in here, people. There's the eye right there. The eye, I'm going to put... You see this blonde woman's head? Right there. With her eye. Come across and you'll see the eye. Once you find this eye right here, you'll see the face that creates this creature right here. It's my position that these beings represents our ancient ancestors that you know nothing about. Nothing about. And artists like Robert Rodriguez who has this now. In fact, the yeah, there's the there's another eye right there in fact. Are we there? Are you there with me? There's another eye right there. So you have the left eye here. Is that the left? No, the left eye is here and the right eye is there. There is the left eye right there. And you see this serpent-like creature right there. And then in that, there's a monkey's face. And there's other multidimensional faces. But people, all I ask you to do is look at these two heads, these ancient Egyptian-like heads in the ass, which is a male and a female, the Medusa-like woman here. And then look at this right here. And look right here. And look at these images and then understand that they're describing how new semen lies through the male penile gland. This is representing the penile gland. This is no different than that re representation than a copula in, in St. Peter's Square. Who in the world is that? Oh, come on. Let me shut this down. This is no different than one of those copulas in St. Peter's Square or throughout any other um, um, religious um, church there in the center and it's showing you all of that white and the cloud mist this is a represent representation of semen being created and now in this guy there's a dimensional doorway that this guy there's a resurrection that this guy can come out of his penis that's what this is dimensionally through this cocktail this cauldron chemistry there's a reemergence of an awakening of this guy coming out. And in fact, people, I can actually even see almost an eye here, an eye here, and a horn there, and a horn there. But I'm not even going to go there because I didn't, I mean, I don't know if I'm actually seeing that or is my imagination running away from me at this point, which is, which is sometimes do. But this guy is now coming through a gateway. Now, 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 hold on, people. This is a gateway, a portal. What do machete kills have to do with a being? coming dimensionally through the body of another. And what is these ancient beings doing depicted in the ass, in the clothing of this woman? And then signifying blood. Then look at the, the, the queen's crown on this reptilian here and this ape creature and this mother of creation there. All of these beings that are depicted 
in the sequential order that I have made them appear in all of my other videos that are here. I'm even seeing something else and I can't get it up here because I messed around and made another drawing but if I was to flip this around I see a woman's face here this is her mouth this is her eye laying down and guess what there's a snake like object coming from off of her head like Medusa into the mouth of this being that I'm seeing right here so right here so eye nose mouth female head laying back on on her back here and coming out of her head is a worm going into the mouth of this being right here and I messed it up because I actually put other drawings on it let me see if I can give it to you on that black and white image where's my machete kills at oh, I can't do it there what if I screwed that up well people it's a lot here. There's a head laying down right there over top of this blonde woman. There's a mouth, there's a nose, and there's a left eye, and then there's a worm like coming out of the head or out of the, you know what, not out of the left eye, it's coming out of the right eye into the mouth of this being right here. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Geronification channel, and I'm running out of time here. And I hope this video is good. I just, I just, I'm, I'm all over the place with this guy. And Robert Rodriguez, consider yourself on my hit list for the simple fact that now your work falls wayside to everything that I made in Discovery. Nothing you can say. Or nothing you can do about it because how are you going to describe that in the handles of your machetes there's a reptilian woman with a queen's crown with an ape underneath of her and then an image of a witch like woman which is I dub as the mother of creation how are you going to describe that these ancient symbolizations of these creatures and over here there's a monkey's face there's a nostril there there's a nostril there, and there's a mouth, there's, a, there's, there's an ape. How are you going to describe, there's the open mouth of an ape here, there's the forehead of the ape. How are you going to describe that you're describing in your movie the cross-referencing of ancient genetics, which in a cult-like ritual, cult-like fashion, are now being created, and in their wake is death and destruction, and then new genes are being created. And even got faces peeking out at me on this end. There's a face ahead in here. My name is Jerome Wright. I guess that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Thank you. Of Christ. You know, these monumentous times where you have a lot of artists that came and got involved in creating their own painting and idea behind it all. People, I can show you that there's encryptions in these um, in these art, artworks, and what is happening there is that they are discussing and, and detailing how mankind was genetically altered from that point that, that they're signifying it actually occurred in. Okay, but um, anyway, Robert Rodriguez. Robert Rodriguez is an American film director, screenwriter, producer, um, um, cinemagrapher, a uh, cinema, uh, cinema, cinema, cin cinema lagrapher, um, edit and musician, editor and musician. Um, he shoots and produces many of his films in his native Texas and Mexico. Okay. Now, other than that, Robert Rodriguez would seem to be a very ordinary fellow. But I know that Robert Rodriguez is not ordinary because Robert Rodriguez has created a very interesting film that I am um, that I'm attracted to in a paranormal sense. Okay, so therefore I know that Roger, Robert Rodriguez is far beyond being that of a normal um, 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 film director and producer and um, and, uh, and and playwright person. I, I know that he's he's linked to a higher sense of being. So. Now I have this movie. I have to actually watch the movie, but I'm going to tell you that without even watching the movie yet, I can tell you that the movie from start to beginning will be detailing how 
mankind genetically arrived at a place that where they were at currently and how these genes are being furthered in the manipulation process. So what Robert Rodriguez is doing is giving you his knowledge, detailing in, 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 a, in a cinema type way on a large screen, on a big screen, how these genes are being furthered and manipulated. And people, when I tell you that, it's not just Robert Rodriguez. I'm seeing this stuff in the growing numbers in, in, um, in, um, in, um, in rap art, I mean, in rap videos. I'm seeing it in rock videos. I'm seeing it um, in items that I, I see in stores. I've seen it a lot with Disney. It's like everybody is rushing to put their stake, their claim, in bringing this stuff to your bedroom where it's actually put in a claim not on your imagination but on your soul as well you ever heard of that thing if you invite evil in or you invite the vampire in then he has free reign to your soul or to your being these artists are creating fashionable ways not just in clothing and clothing designs to get into your being and to your person it puts a claim on your soul this pretty much is what this is and besides that is actually not only are they attacking you physically but they're attacking t attacking you genetically they're altering your state of mind and i mean it goes on and on and on and i could tell you a lot more but i'm dancing around trying to let you in on pretty much everything that is going on but just pretty much just awaken you to what is happening here all right but anyway let me tell you about who Rob, who um, Robert Rodriguez is. He is far from a normal person. Okay, now this machete kills that he created. Now, well, first of all, let me tell you what 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 he did. This machete kills. I'm attracted to this multidimensionally, so therefore I know that there's multidimensional images that I can see in here. So, um, Jerome Wright here, um, and once again, you're joining me on my Jerome Wright on um, YouTube channel. Okay. Um, as you know, for those who have been following me, that um, through my ongoing paranormal experience and encounter, I am able to see multidimensional images, and, um, and I'm drawn to paranormal scenarios where there is multidimensional images um, that are created through artists who make movies, um, or Renaissance artists who actually make paintings. Um, in other words, from, from a previous state, um, of our ancestors who actually encrypted and encoded glyphs, um, cave artworks. Um, this is something that has evolutionized through to current and in modern. And um, this is what I'm going to demonstrate here in this um, in this artwork here with this um, this title Machete Kills. And um, this um, this um, creation, this movie is by Robert Rodriguez, um, a Robert Rodriguez. Um, before I go into detail, um, it's my position that these artists, they capture, they capture artwork and, 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 and through their higher knowledge and, um, with dealing with our ancients and their knowledge of how we evolved from the, from the creature of that of our ape ancestor through to our current likenesses. Through to our current likenesses, if you can see that there, um, from the ape to different to our Asian, to our African Americans, um, to our Africans, and to our Caucasians, it's shot from our ape and African ancestor through our Asian ancestors and on to becoming that of our Caucasian counterparts. And that's what this is all about. It's a it's a recycling nation of genetics. It's a cauldron cult like process that shows us how mankind was created and how there is a maintenance program in, in cycling and that cycles these genes back into one into each other, which I'm stating that occurs every four hundred plus years. And where artists used to capture it in their artworks and and monumental times and um like uh, let's just say um and and uh, where there's flight to egypt all of these artists if you notice and if you google flight to egypt artists um renaissance artworks flight to egypt you'll notice that i mean hundreds of artists captures this moment of flight to egypt it's my position that that time is a, mon a monumentous time where they're talking about there was a contamination of the genes of that of our Egyptian um, people. 
Um, and then when you go into Bibli into the biblical sense, when they um, where these art um, artists goes into wherever you go, where they capture a lot of artists are capturing these times, and they're actually capturing the artwork, and 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 in doing so, they're giving you their idea of what is happening during that time. Let's say in for the biblical sense, the return of the prodig prodigal child. Okay, you have a lot of artists weighing in their artwork. On what their idea was of what is being described with this in the, in the Bible and for the most part all of these artists are stating the same exact thing um, there's others as well too the the, Christ, um, the baptism of Christ a lot of people weighed in a lot of artists weighed in on that and captured that um, the birth of John is pretty much how these artists this is what this is all about a lot of us are stuck on these secret societies and, and um, and Illuminati's and all of that people our ancestors nothing mattered more to our ancestors than who they genetically were and their genetic identities um, and this is what this is all about and these artists captured today um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Rob, Robert Rodriguez before I start breaking down the encryptions and what is actually being shown here Okay, and I hope that you're going to be able to see this because basically what I'm doing now is I'm, I have, um, I actually I have two laptops here. I have one projecting this image here on my um, my um, my 47 inch um, TV screen here, and then um, which I have it hooked up um, um, through a, a linking cable. Then I have my other laptop facing that image. And um, I guess this is a way of me to actually cut down on my copying costs, which is actually possibly into the thousands of dollars now. So um, the more money I guess I'm spending, uh, the more wiser I'm becoming. Um, but I'm going to start showing you um, what's going on. Let me let me let me let me tell you a little bit about Robert Rodriguez. So for those of you that want to Google this image and other images and other artworks by um, Robert Rodriguez. Um, <clears throat> you pretty much can um as far as in so much as far as his movies now i have this movie and i have to get around to to um to watching it because it's my position that what i'm showing you here and what i'm going to describe because it shows it details how genes came from an ancient stage to a current stage and the information that's came, contained therein again it shows us how we evolved